Hi, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Molt Moment. It's been a stressful week and I am ready to unwind. And today that's going to be with a little bit of this Talisker Storm. I first got this uh, four years ago. It was It's a no-age statement from the Talisker Distillery. Talisker is located on the Isle of Skye, right up against the ocean. And I wasn't crazy about this when I first bought it. I kind of just bought it because it was on sale and it was like 30 bucks off and it was a good price so i figured okay what the heck i'll take a chance on it and the evolution of this bottle over the three or four years that i've been drinking from it has been really interesting and kind of changed my perspective and respect for no age statements to a certain extent when i first got this bottle it was extremely briny and smoky and that was pretty much all it had going for it it was a bit one-dimensional and slowly as the bottle opened up, this just got more complex. It took on some sweeter characteristics. Uh, now that the bottle's gotten about this low, it has taken on a lot of raw distillate character. So it doesn't have a ton of cask influence coming out anymore. There's not a lot of like artificial vanilla or s artificial sweetness or ginger flavor anymore. Okay. So have a good look at the bottle. Now uh, the storm is supposed to be a mix of bourbon cask mostly and a little bit of sherry cask from what i understand if that's not correct uh please correct me in the comments it's bottled at 45.8 percent abv it's a 750 ml bottle likely chill filtered and coloring added because it's a diageo product and that's just what diageo does now this again like i said has changed so much and I found that this bottle became very distillate forward. I wasn't too crazy about it at first when I first uh, got it and opened it. I thought, yeah, this is going to be sitting on my shelf for a while. This is going to be one of those like, yeah, I bought that because it was cheap years ago. And maybe I'll make like cocktails or something with it every now and then. And I found myself reaching for it more and more as the bottle went down. And by the time it got to maybe about the halfway point, I really started enjoying it a lot more than I thought I would. But... Uh, just jumping straight into things, we're going to check out the nose. And the nose has gone from being this just peat smoke, peat smoke and ocean brine, to now it's almost like this ashy burned sandalwood. Like not sandalwood or incense while it's burning, I mean like the leftover ash pile after you've burned it. There is a little bit of that carbon ash, but it's a nice herbal smoke. And pepperiness, like you can just smell fresh cracked black pepper. Talisker has a pepper flavor that tends to be a distillate character. It's just what their new make spirit tastes like and it carries over in a lot of their expressions. But yeah, you got that, that pepper, that gentle sort of herbal smoke and the ocean brine absolutely is present this is an incredibly saline malt. It has a lot of saltiness, a lot of uh, salinity characters that you'd associate with the ocean. And you can see from some of the really cool photography and pictures on this box, uh, the distillery is right by the ocean side and probably gets a lot of sea air coming into the warehouses every now and then. But that's what it is, man. It's just the sea air, brine, salt, little bit of that herbal smoke, more of that pepper. So it's not a very complex nose, but it's pleasant and it's doing the flavors that it has pretty well. And blind, I would not guess this as a no age statement. I would just probably say, well, this is maybe like a 10 to 15 year old Isla, maybe. It definitely has that peat factor though. This is a pretty smoky whiskey. But I find that as it sits out now, now that the bottle's gotten this low and the air has had a chance to make the malt get a little bit more gentle, it has this stoniness, and I don't know how to describe it other than a stoniness. Maybe it's like a minerality as well. It just has this limestone smell. Like limestone, clay, earth, like just old compact earth that's been sitting underneath a concrete floor. But it's it's that kind of mustiness, but it's just... It's this mineralness, and I like it. It adds this extra sort of dimension, but... You know, some people might find that off-putting. Not me. So, let's check out the palette. Cheers.
And yes, you can taste that it's a young malt, but it's got power. And it's not overly rough. So the first thing you get on your tongue is a bit of this chili pepper bite, but it's not just straight alcohol heat. It's like a proper chili pepper, like a well-made hot sauce. If you've ever had like an actual well-made hot sauce that isn't just trying to obliterate your palate with heat, it's very similar to that, where it has this kind of sweet smokiness to go along with a bit of that bite. That limestone mineral quality, very present again on the nose. Orange oil, like orange oil and orange, uh, grated orange peel, or orange zest, I guess, very present on the palate. It's extremely orange forward. That's probably a lot of the bourbon cask influence, I would guess. Could be distillate as well. And the aftertaste is like this. That's again that herbal mentholic smoke, but with a vanilla tinge to it. That second sip now, it's more salty. It's like salty orange zest with a bit of smoke and a bit of vanilla and a little bit of that stony mineral quality again. So it's interesting. Uh, curious how this has evolved over the last few years. It's become more and more like the Talisker 10, in my opinion. A lot of the qualities this has now, you can find in the 10-year-old Talisker. And that's kind of the issue I have in balancing out how to score this and how good it actually is because yeah it's a little bit cheaper than Talisker 10 but it's going to take a few years of airing out in the bottle to be you know getting close or not getting close but like approaching the same style and the same quality of Talisker 10 so why not just spend an extra 10 bucks and get Talisker 10 so it's kind of situated weirdly weirdly in Talisker's lineup that being said if it's something that you're going to take a chance on if it's something that you're not going to drink very often if you know you don't consume uh, scotch regularly if you're not a regular drinker this will be like something you take out for special occasions for yourself or even just like once every week or two i think that you will get more and more enjoyment out of it as the bottle goes down and i wanted to bring this one out too just to highlight that because i was actually very surprised i haven't had a no age statement kind of do this before most of the no age statements i've had most not all but most tend to have flattened out and gotten worse as time went by and as the air got into the bottle uh this one is one of the few that have actually improved and it's not one i was expecting to have improved a no age statement from talisker i figured would have not been too great after even two or three months open but here we are four years later and i'm still enjoying this pretty pretty much uh score wise on a scale of one to ten this one's kind of tough for me to score because when i first had this I don't think I would have given it more than maybe a 3 or a 4 out of 10. I considered it to be a little bit below average. I think I'm going to go up to 5 out of 10 right now. Um, it's definitely... It's not a great or really, really good single malt, but it's definitely become a passable one that you'll reach for as maybe a bit of a regular sipper. So 5 out of 10, and on a 100-point scale, I would say for me, this has gone from, like, maybe you know, high 60, low 70 to being, you know, like a solid, geez, somewhere, but it's getting nitpicky, but like somewhere between 77 and 80 for me. It, it improved that much. It went from being like, wow, this is drab to, hey, that's not half bad. So take a chance on it if you feel like you want to. This, keep in mind though, this is a bit of an older batch. This is from 2016 or 2017, but Hey, if, if you want to take a chance on it, absolutely, go for it. So I'll see you guys next time on Malt Moment. We'll have one more of these bottles that is accessible, a little bit younger, easy to find, but aged really well after being open for a few years. So we'll have one more to go after this. I'll see you next time. Have a great weekend, everyone.